Taking one last look of your Tuesday, we did top out at 31 degrees for your high, 12 for your low. So a bit above average for this time of the year, at least almost by 10 for the high, 5 for the low, nowhere near the record of negative 19 just set three years ago. And sunset now occurring at 5.17 p.m. So the days are starting to get a little bit longer now as we are deep, getting deeper into January. But today's high is about 20 degrees colder than they were yesterday, that's for sure. 12 in Marquette, 11 in Iron Mountain, 10 in Houghton. A little bit warmer towards the east, 20 in Munising and Manistique. Only four is what it topped out, topped out in Ontonagon. So that cold front really making a very powerful punch, especially with those winds out of the northwest at 23 in Houghton, 20 in Ironwood. 22 in Munising. So when it comes to those temperatures and those winds, those wind chills are in the negatives. So just remember to make sure to cover yourself in as many layers as possible if you have to be outside. Also, we are deal dealing with those scattered snow showers tonight through tomorrow. So with that, that's also going to reduce that visibility with those winds around. When it comes into the next couple of days, even after the snow ends, we are going to be dealing with those wind chills still in the negatives because those temperatures are still going to hover in those single digits for highs, even going into the weekend, morning lows on the negative side, even though conditions are going to be improving somewhat. Saturday is the only bump on the road that we're expecting as a quick moving disturbance pushes its way very quickly. But looking at some of those snow totals from your Tuesday, Painsdale got over half a foot of snow at 6.7, Chassel at 5, Munising at 4, and Mass City just short of 4 inches at 3.9. Because of the snow totals that we saw yesterday, there's going to be more on top of it for tonight and tomorrow. And because of that, there's actually been lake effect snow warnings in effect going back from your Tuesday, extending all the way until your Friday morning, especially in the white. The teal colors are the lake effect snow advisories. Those will begin to end throughout your Thursday, but still conditions are still going to be rough when it comes to traveling, especially along the Lake Superior shoreline on your Thursday before some conditions improve going into your Friday. Just to take a closer look of exactly what the system, when it comes to that lake effect, bringing in accumulations, once it's all said and done, could be up to two feet. Those winds, especially tonight, could be gusting up to 35 to 40 miles per hour, and those wind chills are going to be hovering in those negative teens to those slightly into those single digits on the positive side for the next couple of days, especially in the afternoons. Going into your Thursday a little more closely though, we are dealing with some snow showers throughout the lake effect regions of Michigan in both the upper peninsula and the lower peninsula. Further towards the south, just another quick moving disturbance pushing its way through parts of the Ohio Valley, increasing their snow chances. But the cold air is heavily intact and this cold air will actually begin to spill its way more into the south as we go into the weekend where there's even a chance for an ice storm for parts of Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina. Looking into your future cast a little more closely though for us, we are going to begin to see some improvements throughout your Thursday and into your Friday. By Friday, we'll begin to increase a little more sunshine all throughout the region. By Saturday, we'll re-energize just a little bit those snow showers as that quick moving disturbance pushes its way through. But overall, it's still going to be on the isolated variety for the next couple of days. So that is excellent news. So we should see more sun than clouds at least until Monday. For tonight, though, another snowy and windy night. Those winds out of the northwest at 20 to 25 miles per hour. Going into your Thursday a little more closely, those winds are coming out of the west still at 15 to 20 miles per hour. But temperatures are just going to be just like today in those single digits. Zero in Ontonagon, eight in Houghton, six in Crystal Falls and Florence. A little bit warmer towards the east, 11 in Escanaba, 15 in Munising. But when it comes to those wind chills, they are going to be in the negatives. And when it comes to those improvements in the weather, it won't occur on Thursday though. Sunrise at 8.34 a.m. Temperatures are going to fall into the negative side for morning lows by tomorrow night. The warm-up really does not begin until Sunday. That's when temperatures finally get out of those single digits into those teens, eventually climbing into those 20s by Monday and Tuesday. The downside, a new storm comes in.